WPUG Radio presents Maisie and Daisy. Hello and welcome everyone. This is Maisie the Crazy Pug coming to you on this pugtastic evening on radio station WPUG in beautiful downtown Pugville. I am in Studio A and Daisy is in Studio B. Oh my pug, is it cold outside? It looks like winter has arrived with a vengeance. A lot of us in the United States have been hit hard with freezing rain and snow. Of course, us being the smart pugs we are, we are staying inside where it is warm. Last night, we even heard a frost quake. We didn't even know that was such a thing. Let's tell the whole story, Maisie. Last night, we were watching a movie with Mommy and Daddy. It was a cold, dark, and quiet night. Then, all of a sudden, we heard a boom! 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 It sounded like something was hitting the house. Maisie, of course, sounded the alarm. She went. Mommy thanked her for telling us she heard something. Maisie, didn't you realize we all heard it? No, I didn't. None of you reacted. What was I supposed to think? That we were all enjoying the movie? Well, anyway, Maisie calmed down. Then again, we heard it. Boom! Boom! Maisie sounded the alarm again. Mommy said the wind must be blowing ice off the trees, and they were hitting the house. She got up, turned on the lights outside, and looked. Didn't see anything. I don't know how many booms we heard, but it was a lot. We didn't know what it was until we were watching the news this morning. They said a lot of the communities around us heard the booms. Come to find out, it was caused from the moisture in the ground and the temperature dropping so quickly. A frost quake is a seismic event that is caused by a sudden cracking action of frozen soil or rock saturated with water or ice. As water drains into the ground, it will eventually freeze and expand under the colder temperatures, putting stress on the surroundings. When there is a sudden drop of temperature, this stress builds up until it is relieved explosively. It is pretty amazing when you think of it. I can just imagine what other fur pails around here must have been doing when they heard it. We don't get scared by storms, but we have friends who do. They must have been driving their humans nuts. Maisie, you came close to driving mommy nuts. <laughs> You are lucky. She is so forgiving when you sound your alarm. That's because she knows that one day when I do sound the alarm, it might be really important. She doesn't want to discourage me from telling her when I hear things. That is true, Maisie. You do know that just one or two barks would have done the job. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> making you happy, Daisy. It's fun, too, when we both make Mommy and Daddy laugh. You were doing that this morning when you came inside from doing your business. This cold air sure has an effect on you. You get all crazy. <laughs> I thought I was the crazy one. <laughs> Don't worry, Maisie. You will always have that title. The way you are passionate about what you love, like playing ball, we will always say you are crazy. We love how crazy you are. <laughs> Can you please tell me what you are doing when you come in from the cold? You run in like a bat out of hell. You jump on mommy and start wiggling all over her. <laughs> well, how else am I supposed to shake the cold off? When I come in, I just snuggle on my blanket or someone's lap. I didn't know you have to shake off the cold. 
<laughs> you don't know? Haven't you ever heard someone say, come in and shake the cold off? Maisie, <laughs> what am I going to do with you? Love me and teach me songs. <laughs> that I will definitely do, Maisie. <laughs> Sure hope our friends are staying warm in these freezing temperatures. You know, some people keep their dogs outside even if it's freezing. I just don't understand that. If it's too cold for humans to stay outside, then it's too cold for us fur babies to be outside. When temperatures fall below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, humans with small breeds or breeds with thin coats are very young old or sick fur babies need to pay close attention to their well-being. You know that 20 degrees Fahrenheit, all humans need to be aware that their fur babies could potentially develop cold-associated health problems like hypothermia and frostbite? Of course I know that. I'm the one who showed you that information. <laughs> Daisy, I was talking to our listeners. <laughs> I forgot we were on the air. <laughs> I guess this cold air is getting to my brain. <laughs> I think you are in a silly mood today, Daisy. Maybe you are getting a case of cabin fever. You know, you might be right. This cold air sure has been keeping us indoors. I do enjoy all the belly rubs I've been getting, though. Daddy is going to have biceps of steel with all the ball throwing he has been doing with me. I sure am a lucky girl that he plays ball with me anytime I want. Almost anytime. He doesn't allow the ball in the bedroom. That's sleep time. <laughs> That's okay. I'm ready to sleep at that time anyway. <laughs> Are you saying if you weren't ready for sleep, then it would be a problem? <laughs> Those are your words, not mine. <laughs> I just want to say to all of our listeners, please keep your fur babies warm, healthy, and safe. For our listeners who are lucky enough to be where it is warm, chill out. Of course, stay healthy and safe too. We are sending prayers to those who are dealing with the tragedies like the fires in Australia. Well, I think that is all the time we have for today. If you enjoy our program, please be sure to spread the pug love with everyone you meet. You don't have to be a pug to spread some love. If you have any questions you want to ask us, or if there are any topics you want to hear about, or if you have uplifting stories you want to share, please message us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. This is Daisy. Best friend and sister of Maisie the Crazy Pug. Signing off for WPUG Radio. We hope you have enjoyed your time with us.